Today, I'm very proud to be announcing our healthcare and COVID team at a critical time. <clears throat> as we near the end of one of the toughest years we face as a nation. Today, I'm pleased to announce a team that is going to do just that. It's a team of world-class experts at the top of their fields, crisis tested, defined by a deep sense of duty, honor, and patriotism. Already ready to jump in. They've been advising me, many of them, for a long time. And they're going to be ready on day one to spare not a single effort to get this pandemic under control so we can get back to work, get back to our lives, get back to our loved ones. They'll lead the COVID-19 response across the government to accelerate testing, fix our supply chain, and distribute the vaccine. They'll work with my economic team because controlling the pandemic, delivering better health care, and reviving the economy go hand in hand. For Secretary of Health and Education Service, I nominated Javier Bacaria. You know, Javier Bashira, excuse me. He currently, the Attorney General of California, leading the second largest Justice Department in America, only behind the United States Department of Justice. And for nearly 25 years before that, he was a congressman representing Los Angeles, one of the largest, America's largest and most diverse cities. Javier spent a career fighting to expand access to health care, reducing racial health disparities, protecting the Affordable Care Act, and take on powerful special interests to prey on profit off of people's health, from opioid manufacturers to big tobacco. During this pandemic, he'll protect the safety of the frontline health care workers, rooted out the fraud from the bad actors who take advantage of people. And he stood up for homeowners trying to pay their mortgages during this devastating economic crisis. There are things he's already fought for and accomplished in many cases. And as secretary, HHS secretary, he will skillfully oversee the CDC and the FDA, Medicare and Medicaid. No matter what happens in the Supreme Court, He'll lead our efforts to build on the Affordable Care Act. He'll work to dramatically expand coverage and take bold steps to lower health care and prescription drug costs. Javier is a key leader who leads a, a key agency charged with protecting the health and wellness of the American people. To serve as coordinator of the COVID-19 response team, I'm turning a world-class manager and leader. I've known Jeff for a long time. From the first and last days of the Obama-Biden White House and throughout the campaign and now the transition, there's no one else you'd want to help manage some of the most consequential and complex priorities of a country. Director of National Economic Council for President Obama, acting director for the Office of Management and Budget. He's there, was there during the Great Recession as he went from crisis to recovery to resurgence in eight years. He was there to lead the team and help implement the Affordable Care Act and get healthcare.gov up and working. The Surgeon General of the United States, I nominate a man who could do any of these jobs, I think, but Dr. Vivek Murthy. He worked with me for a long time. He's a renowned physician and research scientist, a trusted national leader on healthcare, and for me, a trusted advisor during the campaign and transition. This will be the second time serving as America's doctor having served in this role under President Obama. <coughs> During his tenure, he took on some of the most pressing public health issues we face. <coughs> Excuse me. From the opioid crisis to threats to America's mental health, I've asked Dr. Murthy to serve again as Surgeon General and for Director of the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, and Prevention, I might add. I appoint Rochelle Walensky. She's a chief infectious disease. She's chief of infectious disease at one of the country's most preeminent hospitals, Massachusetts General in Boston. A distinguished professor at Harvard Medical School and a world-class physician. One of the nation's foremost experts on testing, treatment, and eradication of viruses. She has served on the, on the front lines on the COVID crisis. She's conducted groundbreaking research 
on vaccine delivery, including how to reach underserved communities that are too often hit first, hardest, and treated last. Dr. Olinsky's work was instrumental in helping the world mitigate the public health crisis of HIV AIDS. It inspired her as a young doctor to pursue her pioneering research in virus containment. Now, she will bring her expertise to bear against COVID-19. Because of the pandemic's disproportionate impact on communities of color, I concluded that I wanted, we needed, a COVID-19 equity task force. To chair that, to chair it, I appoint Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith, one of the country's foremost experts on health care disparities, associate professor of medicine and public health and management at Yale School of Medicine, founding director of Yale's Equity Research and Innovation Center, and co-chair of my COVID-19 Transition Advisory Board. Dr. Nunez-Smith will lead our efforts to provide care to the communities most in need and most affected by the pandemic and often overlooked. And finally, as both head of my National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease and my chief medical advisor on COVID-19, I'm pleased to say that Dr. Tony Fauci will be a member of my COVID team. By now, Tony needs, Dr. Fauci needs no introduction. But he'll have my gratitude when I'm president, the seventh president he will have served. We know each other, and we've known each other for a long time. And I'm so grateful when I called him almost before I asked, he said yes. I've seen him take on HIV AIDS, H1N1, Ebola, Zika, COVID-19, and every infection, infectious disease in between over his nearly 40 years of service to our country.